In this tutorial, we will see an example of using the Page Viewer web part. The Page Viewer web part allows you to display another web page, file, or folder within a SharePoint page. You enter a hyperlink, file path, or folder path to link to the content. Just a few notes about this feature. You can use the Page Viewer web part only in a browser that supports the HTML iframe element. And displaying a file or folder requires Microsoft Internet Explorer. In this video, we'll see an example of displaying a web page with the Page Viewer web part. One common use of this feature is to display a page from a company's public site on their internet site, such as the current job post listing. In this demonstration, I will be working on the HR site of this intranet. There are several industry-related websites that the HR staff references frequently for news, information, and continuing education in the human resources field. Rather than having individual links that jump out to those sites, we will bring them into the HR site. A page named HR Industry Sites has been added to the site for this purpose. I will use the Page Viewer web part to display the industry-related websites on this resources page. The first site I will add using the Page Viewer web part is the Society for Human Resources Management, which I have open. I will need to supply the URL to this page, so I will copy that while I'm in this window. Then I'll add the web part. I'll go to Site Actions, Edit Page. And then I'll click on Add a Web Part. From the Web Part categories, I'm selecting Media and Content. And then in the Web Parts, I'll select Page Viewer. And then I'll click Add. The new Web Part is added to the top of this Web Part zone. I'm going to drag this below the title before I configure it. So to configure this Web Part, I'll click on Open the Tool Pane. The first thing to do is to select whether you want to display a file, folder, or web page. Web page is already selected by default. Then in the link field, I need to supply the URL, which I just copied from the web page. So I will paste that in. And then I'll choose OK to save. So here you can see it has brought in the website into this web part. The default web part size does not show much of the site, so I will change the height and width settings of the web part. Go to the web part drop down and choose Edit Web Part. And then I'll expand the Appearance section. The first thing I'll do also is change the, the title of the web part, which defaults to the web part name. So I'll change that to the name of the site, SHRM. Then I'll scroll down to the Height and Width section. And for the height, since I'm going to have more than one website in here, I'll just make this four inches high. Change this from pixels, two inches. And then for the width, I'll make this eight inches wide. And then I'll choose OK to save and see how this looks. OK, so now we can see more of this site. We do have the scroll bars. I can scroll up and down through the site page or horizontally left and right. can use the links on the site and navigate through just as you would if you were out on the site. And now I can click on Stop Editing. The content of the Page Viewer web part is isolated from other content on the page, so it does not conflict with other elements on the page. Therefore, we can add other web part content on the same page. So next, I will add a second Page Viewer web part to display another frequently used HR site. The second site is the National Human Resources Association. I also have this open, and I will copy the URL for this site. So I'll use the same steps as before to add the Page Viewer web part. I'm going to Site Actions, Edit Page, Add the web part. Again, I'll choose Media and Content, Page Viewer, and then Add. Again, I want to move this web part below the page title. And I'll open the Tool Pane to configure the web part. I'll also change the title.
and then I'll choose OK. I won't have to change the width settings for this web part, but I will need to change the height. So I'll go back to the web part settings. Under appearance and for height, I want this at four inches. And I'll choose OK. So now that's the same size as the first web part. So now we have access to multiple websites within a single page in the HR site. As you can see, using the Page Viewer web part to bring web pages into your site is a convenient alternative to just simply providing links to jump out to other sites from your site.